going to talk to Keith, who is calling in from Florida. Hey, Keith, you're live on Truth Wanted. What's up? Hello, Dan and Bridget. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. good. Just talking about the paranormal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, with these ghosts and paranormal experiences, how would you be able to tell a real one from a fake one? I mean, earlier you had the video where you could easily verify that you were uh, affecting the sensor with the IR light, but how would you know if you actually experienced a real paranormal experience? How would you be able to tell it from the, you know, fake stuff? Um, you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I, very honest answer. Right? I, I mean, it, it's true. I mean, if someone, I, I think there's a difference between someone who has an experience and in, there's no way you can't take that experience away from someone. They, they experience it. They believe it. They, they feel it. It has an effect on them, but to prove that and verify it and, and get someone else to believe it, it you can't, it's, it's not, it's not evidence. It's just a story. I, and that doesn't, I know that sounds kind of mean and I don't mean to be mean. It's, 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 it can be a powerful thing to a, to one particular person. But it, I don't think that you can, you can't necessarily, you can't verify it. Mm. So mm. does that make sense? So, I mean, there are, I don't know, there are a lot of people who really do truly, absolutely believe that they have had paranormal experiences. I absolutely. have family members who are yep. sure that they've been visited by people that I miss and that they miss. I mean, I'm sure we all know, we all have those people in our families, I'm sure. Right, right. And yep. it's like, <laughs> I mean, you know that it's all, that there's no way that they could ever prove it. But you've right. got all these people who are going to take advantage of it. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, I, exorcisms. And, oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. yeah, I was just going to say, I... Recently, um, a friend of mine, someone I know, her boss passed recently, and she called me one day and told me that, you know, the office door opened like four times today, and it was a thing that would happen sometimes, and she's just like, you know, I know it's her. She's here. She's here, and she's visiting me, and she knows I don't believe in anything, and I told her, I said, you know what? That door opened. You thought of her. That's all that matters. You, mm. you, it reminded you of her and it made you smile and remember her. It doesn't mean she's there. If you, you know, it, it, if there's still value in that, Does, you know what I mean? I, I mean, and why can't that be enough? Right. I right. Mean, exactly. I, yeah. Occasionally I will be sitting around just doing nothing and I'll remember, Oh, Hey, I really loved my grandmother's chili. It was a really good chili. Hmm. And that doesn't have to be her touching me or giving me some experience. That can just be. Well, I, I, I almost have a memory of my grandmother. Yeah, it's interesting, Keith. I think about it like this. It's like you imagine you grew up in a religious household like I did or, or anybody else. I don't uh, particularly know your backstory, right? But. But, you know, and, and you're told your entire life that this is a thing that's real. The spirits are real, that that there's an other world out there. But you have no, like, real experience with that. You have no connective tissue to really justify that belief. And you might be wondering if you'd ever get that. And then if you finally have an instance where that could be the case, you know, you might want to fill that in just because you've heard about this phenomenon so much. You've heard about this stuff that, well, now you can finally confirm this belief that you've invested your whole life into, I mean, hours and hours and hours of church time and, and, you know, stuff like that. I, I, I think from that perspective, that's going to make more sense to me because like when I think of my personal experiences, what I had once described as mystical experiences, right. Um, in, in my religious life, like I, I could now look at that and see, Oh, I think this was me trying to justify what I already had believed through, you know, positive experiences and, and, that makes sense from that perspective. Whereas now I don't have anything I'm trying to prove, you know, I don't have anything that, um, 
I'm trying to build a bigger case for. So I'm not really going to look at stuff that way. But if you have a bigger case in mind, if you have a more complex structure of, of you know, an afterlife and stuff like that, you, you may be interested in trying to fill the holes because I think everybody, if they're being honest, has some holes they're trying to fill, right? Unless you're like, uh, like we're talking about Bob Larson or something, you know, that, that supposedly has all these kinds of experiences. Most of us don't on a day to day. I mean, and if we do, they're going to be pretty uncommon, right? Like it's not going to be something all the time. We, we make mistakes only occasionally, but, uh, if not, you know, for, for to, to that kind of level, I guess, I don't know. Cause I have family too. That's like, Hey, I, I think I saw an exorcist happen one time, or I think that this person was possessed by a demon. It's like, I think you saw somebody who had struggled with mental illness and like, right. that's just going to be a different interpretation of reality. So right. yeah, I don't know. It could be mercury in retrograde. Could be mercury in retrograde. <laughs> I keep that's coming cool. back to that. I, look, if we have some technical problems tonight, I will. It's, it'll be my future. fault for bringing it up. <laughs> now I know. Well, I have an explanation for it. So there you go. What then. happened to that guy in Australia? I don't, yeah, Mercury, yes. Record oh. record yeah, that's what's going ah. on in Australia. Somebody's hey, going to look that up or something. <laughs> now we know. And it only affects Australians because Australia is not a real place just that's like right. mercury and retrograde well, so that yeah. explains i mean it doesn't exist so how could he possibly get <laughs> through on the phone exactly exactly yeah that makes sense to be um i just okay now the crew is messaging me mercury uh, in, in retrograde is starting on january 30th i don't that's not what the that, it's not actually <laughs> retrograde though i think we should be clear it's it's not what we're seeing but anyway that's like astronomy stuff keith yep that's a great call. Do you have any final comments or final questions before uh, we let you go here? No, that's all. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Cool. Thanks. You Thank too, you, Keith. Keith.